We were doing some work right across Australia from New South Wales, around Tasmania, Southern Australia and Western Australia. Everyone we talked to was just so passionate about their local reefs and everybody would tell you, oh, we've got the best local reef here or we've got the best secret spot for fishing or we've got the best wave here. And we realised that everybody was talking about the same thing. It's just this broad passion right across this place. We need to harness this energy and try and put a voice behind it. Just like the Great Barrier Reef, we have a sign equivalent that is equally unique, it's equally valuable, and, and we basically felt that it deserved a great identity. And so what name better than the Great Sign Reef? It was a really inspired idea to give it a name because I think it then recognizes the interconnectedness of all these systems that are thousands of kilometers apart, but they share some very common features, you know, like the, the presence of this golden kelp, you know, along 8,000 kilometers of coastline. Branding what we have out the front just makes sense. This, done properly, will be huge. All people that are saltwater people feel that the spirit that comes from within the sea is something that is like deep within your blood. You have to show people what is out there and, and educate them of how you respect that environment. I think it's a great idea to identify the area as the Great Southern Reef. It gives everybody a name to put to something which supports the diversity of industries that we have here. My hope for the Great Southern Reef is to unite a lot of the pride and passion that we see right across Southern Australia. We have some really large challenges facing the Great Southern Reef and by uniting our efforts, uniting our calls to look after and protect the Great Southern Reef, we can achieve a lot and maintain it for future generations to come.